what's up everyone so today i wanted to give you an update of recent changes i have made into nvm java plugin this plugin basically uh, set up neovim for java development it's pretty easy to use uh, if you have tried to configure java in neovim it's quite painful to do but um, we take care of all that uh, for you all right so the biggest change we have made is the spring boot language saver now we automatically install sts for the um um sts4 which is the language saver and we automatically bundles that with jdtls so you can use spring boot features um especially in uh files like application properties you will get uh, auto completion like this um uh, you can see spring um auto completion in application and we have things like uh i think if i use F -E fcf lua and list lsp what is that i don't remember live workspace symbol you can search for something i think i have a, a class called hello world i think yep there we go you can search for classes and directly jump to that that's not what i expected it to be hello world controller ah this is the one this is in the uh uh source so yeah we have a spring boot support and if you want to find endpoints or whatever you can do that through um same thing same uh, symbol finder i think if i add a control let me see um nope not here controller level controller i'll add a get mapping here and make this as hello world i cannot have spaces so underscore and make this a rest controller there we go and let's run this thing and you can see it identified the endpoint and you can quickly jump to the endpoints using this uh, symbol finders since we have the uh, spring boot language language survey running so that's the main one and we have i have implemented like 70 80 percent of the code actions um supported by vs code um i have instructions in this wiki right here if you want to set up individual key binds let's say let's say for example um uh, generating two strings or construct constructors you can do that um i have the instructions here but uh, i mean you can access the i think it's um hold on yeah it's beam lsp buff code action beam lsp buff code action this is the api if you have set up a key bind i think right now in neovim there are default key binds for these things but i'm not sure anyway in lazyvim it's space ca as you can see we have a bunch of um prefactoring commands let's say i want to let's let's say i have a variable called test and i have a function called hello let if i want to assign a variable for this i can do variable as you can see oh, hold on variable create local variable test that's not what i expected let me actually create a class here uh, test this has to be simple and um let's maybe create a method right hello this is going to return hello like so and i can create a variable test equal new oops new test and test dot hello okay there we go now i can access the um code actions and extract the return value of the uh, test or the hello function to a variable like so i can rename this um hello result spellings are incorrect but you get the point um yeah we have 
bunch of very important uh, code actions like two string generator. As you can see, we have now two string. I mean, yeah. Um, I recently added them, and uh, there are few. There are few yet to be implemented. I'll work on that. So yeah, um, and into the installation section now we have starter projects for lazy vim kickstarter and astro and vim um if you don't know anything about configuring nvim then you can pick one of these configurations because they are pre-configured for java development you just clone it when you open your vim it will um, install a bunch of stuff and you're good to go you can open up a java project and keep um continue to work on the project stuff um if you want to see the changes i'll open up lazy vim for example um this is a fork of the original lazy vim starter as you can see and you can see the changes i have made on top of the lazy vim original starter by clicking on this link right here here i have added dapco which is the debugger plugin uh, extra um extras that we are going to install and i have configured in java in, in in here pretty basic stuff these are the changes and right now you can clone the project and um get java pre-configured neovim configuration and now in lesvim there is a new feature for the uh, plugin developers we can add a something called lazy dot lua file into our plugin and define all the configurations there or the plugin spec there and when you basically install the plugin using this statement right here um, all the necessary dependencies will be installed and all these you know um options will be applied um automatically you don't have to have a really long plugin spec right now which is great um and yeah i don't think i have talked about the profiler right now we have a bunch of commands one for building the workspace runner previously we only had the debugger but if you just want to run the application then you can um use java runner main run main you have logs obviously then um yeah we have profile java profile java profile and we have since we have two main um classes it will prompt you to select one to create a profile as you can see i have a profile called main if i want to add a new one um, another and let's add hello world into this and next time you open up the profile you can see the uh, active profile if you want to switch you can switch between the profiles simple as that and i think if i do args how do i um let me yeah this is the one i think there we go and let's go here system out args i and let's run java run runner main this is the one you can see down below here we have hello world let me actually add um some new lines and let's run it again there we go we have hello world printed to the console as you can see uh profiler will be applied to the um applied to the uh application i think i have hello world in both of them if i'm correct in the main yep i have main that that's why okay um profile is new and if you even debug let me put a debug point here and start debugging let's um let's jump over there you go we got hello step over one more time now we have world there we go yep um and i'll continue to stop 
right now we have yeah java profile for setting up profiles and these refactoring commands are new and this is another new command java setting change runtime java setting change runtime um right now i don't have any runtime set up in my configuration if i go to mine it's a bit complex because i'm the developer uh, but for you it will be simple here yep here you can add a bunch of runtimes i have the instructions um in the readme so if you have a bunch of uh, uh configurations or the jdk's set up um then you will be able to select one of them using this command right here but i don't have any of them so i'm getting a burning no configured runtimes available uh, refer following link to add runtimes but i think let me let me try to go to um java dev content i think nope uh where is it java dev container i don't Mm. I don't remember actually. I think I had one of them. Maybe this is the one. Um let me run the dev container and see if this is working. And maybe if I have a bunch of runtimes then I will be able to show you the menu. Dev cont oh my god. I don't have existing container so this will take some time i guess yeah that's not good i'll close this um i will leave it to you you can try adding a bunch of uh, runtimes and use that setting to change the runtime of the project and that will be cached if you want to clear the cache i have a um what is that experimental command called um java build clear clear workspace this will clear the workspace and when you launch it the next time um you will have a new workspace created you have to close and reopen because i don't restart the language server at the moment uh, i'm still thinking about thinking about how to do that because i had to have the same configuration we had pre previously um to the new language server so i haven't figure that out yet that's there and uh yeah we are right now working on the um neo test integration um someone created a project for that and i'm trying to integrate that um uh, still work in progress here if i go to test file and add a set here assert true um I thought we can give a message can we i don't think so no just a condition i guess isn't there a wait j unit assert with a message anyway um i can run this using neotest my keybind is space uh t it's r to run the nearest test case if i have multiple um fail and let's set this to uh false i can run the entire file as you can see the first one passed um but the second second uh test failed so yeah that's working and i can get this summary i think i don't remember the key point uh show s yes. yeah cts is it oh yeah this is the um this is the summary we have two tests inside demo application test uh, one is context load one is fail you can see the fail and fast status of each of them yep um we are working on it right now and this will be added in the future uh so th these are the new changes and upcoming changes into nvim java um yeah 
thanks for watching have a nice day i'll put the link in the uh video description description for this uh plugin right here and leave a star if you like it thanks for watching have a nice day